guys, and welcome back to Putting Together the Clarinet, part two. If you haven't seen part one, the link to that video will be in the description below. So we're gonna start with the mouthpiece. Your mouthpiece might have a cap on it. This is the cap. Then you've got your ligature, which holds the reed onto the mouthpiece, and then this is just the mouthpiece. So you're gonna take your wet reed and you're just gonna move your ligature so that it's like really loose. You can move around, but it's not, you don't take it off. And you're gonna take your reed and you see the part that looks like bark? That's gonna be facing you. And you're gonna place it into the hole. And I will show you that again. And the way you want it to look <clears throat> is so that you can see just a hair of the black part um, above the reed when you're looking at it um, this way. And when you look at it from this way, you can't see anything. You also want the reed to be centered, so you don't want it to be like this is an exaggeration, but way over there or way over here, you want it to be in the middle. And then you're going to just tighten your ligature. You're just going to turn these screws. And you want the ligature to sit in between the two lines on the mouthpiece. This one right here and right here. Awesome, you've got your mouthpiece all set up and the barrel is thinner on one side and fatter on the other. You're gonna take the thinner side of the barrel, that's what attaches to the mouthpiece, and you're gonna do the same thing where you're just gonna twist it on. Now you can play with just this and make noise. But, when you want to attach it to the rest of your clarinet, you just do the same twisting motion, hold it still where the bell is, twist it on, and you want it to line up so that your reed is straight with the register key. And that way when you're playing the clarinet, the back of your hands will be in line with your mouth and you have just put together your entire clarinet. Congratulations.